right, so we waited out the storm. It's seven o'clock. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm sure we're not Central Time. Um, the weather's great, and we're gonna put some miles on. It looks like we have 150 miles to um, Oklahoma City. That's about our destination for the night. It's gonna be dark here, I assume, in probably an hour. Great temperature for driving. We're just gonna make some headway. We're going west. But you can see the, maybe we can watch the sunlight go to darkness. Welcome to the dark side. storm it looks like we're heading to, to another tag on it still going west not turning around everyone so we made it last night to the Lucky Star Casino um, in El Reno I believe it is right outside of uh, Oklahoma City and this morning when we woke up Dana from Full Tiny House gave us a text and said that there was a severe storm warning coming our way well the problem is is that we wouldn't have been able to outrun that storm. We still um, have quite a long ways to go to be able to get out of the storm. So, we have gone into the casino. We've checked and made sure that we know where their uh, severe weather safe area is. And if we have to, we'll run up there. We're not too far from the door. We'll run up there and get in there. So, that's what we're doing right now. Scotty's up here lounging and hi Mel. Hi sweetheart, you wanna come visit us? <laughs> Can I do your yoga? And I'm shaking because it is cold here today. Alright, let's go, boo. So severe storm with significant threat for tornadoes, hail, flooding, and expected to move across Oklahoma on Monday. So we're just gonna sit tight and ride the storm out. Hopefully it goes around us. So what do you think of the storm? Because you know how I feel about it. I would have been I on know. the road. Well, <laughs> but I know we can't out 
I, we can't outdrive it. We so. couldn't outrun it today. Yeah. We're on the edge. I'm just going to relax a little bit. I'll be up and listening and watching it uh, later this evening. And if need be, I'm running inside that uh, yeah. shelter in there. So The rig is replaceable, so... Right. Yeah, we've been uh, following storms, and we dodged one yesterday somewhat, and mm -hmm. then we drove right into sitting in here <laughs> in the middle we of one. We rushed ourselves into another one, so... Yeah. Well, that's It'll the way pass, it and we will get the heck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> That's Aja out there spider hunting. There's a few out there. <laughs> Last uh, time she was here, there were spiders all over. But she doesn't see very many this time. Can I leave you to your spider hunting? Spider hunting! <laughs> that Silver Star is it no Lucky Star I'm sorry Lucky Star Casino in El Ranch Reno El Reno Oklahoma offers four or five days of overnight um, parking the first night we got here the slots were all full and they told us just go park in the parking lot and we'd be good with that the next day two spots opened up right next door to each other so we were able to get those and then you can go in and you can either have, I don't know, food or play, whatever your desires are, but pay back a little bit. And let's see, I think that's about it. Um, actually, I just want to make one more mention. We were a little bit more, I don't know, we weren't rushed, but we were a little bit faster in our steps today, trying to get out of here because there's hail supposed to be hitting right about now just stop if you're traveling and you get in a situation where you need to kind of get going a little faster than you're used to just stop take a breath walk back around your rig check everything inside because sometimes when you get a little bit I don't know what do you call it, a little pushed. Bit more pushed you tend to forget things and the last thing you want to do is drive down the road and forget that your jacks were down or something <laughs> that would not be a good thing so even with both of us we have yeah. to double check yep scotty checked and then i checked and then i asked him if he checked and then we checked again yeah that's what we usually do we go around we shut touch all the doors make sure they're latched push on the refrigerator double check to make sure the jacks are up check all the vents and then we have some other things that we do I usually check the propane on the stove make sure that's completely off so anyways yeah there's nothing like it all of a sudden hearing a loud crash back there yeah you can't look back <laughs> we have had it happen a couple times with the refrigerator we get yep. in there get something and it close it feels like it closes and it actually didn't latch all the way so we always try to check that one and that usually happens when we stop at a rep's rest stop and I yeah. get in there to get water or Scott gets water and then we forget to push it. And we get lucky because usually it's sour cream that explodes all over the place <laughs> yeah. or the ketchup or uh, the, the bottle of um, pickles. Right. So. Pickle juice is nasty. Yeah. All right. We are going to turn you guys around let you see what we're seeing. It's just a cloudy day and it's a stormy day. It's a travel it's definitely day. Definitely coming in. They are pretty uh, worried about the flooding around here, and I think rightfully so. This, I believe, is from the other day. They got flooded out pretty bad. So, that's what they're worried about here. They're worried about the tornado. It is a level 10, isn't it, is what they were saying? Uh, whatever, yeah. On the, I don't know what the scale is, but there's a scale that they go by, and it's on a 10 for this area for tornadoes. So, we're just yeah, gonna... Somebody's blowing off some steam over there. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna get on the road and see if we can skirt the storm. 
right, so we're on Highway 40 heading west. This is the first rest stop we came across. All the other ones were closed here in Texas. I guess we're probably 38 miles from the border. So they really have a neat setup for uh, being underneath. I don't know how good it's going to be for uh, a tornado, but <laughs> we're still in tornado watch right now. So I figured we'd take a break after doing it. We just did 180 miles. Take a break and then we're going to head into Alm Amarillo. So, neat little place. I noticed their, uh, their fire pits here are in the shape of Texas. Kind of cool. Seems like there should be a handle on it though. But pretty neat. Let's walk up there and check it out. So, so far so good. No tornadoes, no hail. And honestly, Terry and I are more concerned about the hail than a tornado. I think we can spot a tornado and outrun it maybe. The hail, we've, I've already seen what Little Ones did to the rig last year in Colorado. And they're saying, saw our, uh, what, what the heck is that? Uh, Baseball. Tennis. Tennis, tennis ball size. sizes. That's, that's huge. That's deadly. <laughs> so that's what I want to avoid. But anyways, let's walk up here and check it out. Back in rattlesnake country. I just cannot get away from these damn snakes. Burn, man. Yeah, they got a burn bam. Oh. Pretty fancy. Yeah. We got some information here about the wind power. Sure, don't think it works. Oh, I see it's in a black rain. Oh, and there's the tornado shelter <laughs> <laughs> right through here. Not just a bathroom, a tornado shelter. No. Nope. I'm assuming it's right in that door there. This thing looks pretty uh, stout. Yeah. Right? Okay, so we know where that is because we are going to sit here for a little bit and take a rest. So we know where, know where to run. <laughs> so Amarillo is a little more than halfway. Um, but what just dawned on me is I've never been to a rest area where it says tornado shelter inside. <laughs> I'm not liking that. I didn't think about that, but it's like, okay, yeah, I feel safe. This big building is concrete and other than the glass. Um, none of them else said anything about tornado I was shelter. thinking about that a minute ago while I was using the restroom. I thought I never saw that either. Maybe we've just never been aware of it because we haven't been under... Uh, a place where tornadoes are. Right. Well, we have been, but we haven't been in a severe storm like this that's going on. Oh, yeah. So. Well, did it have oxygen masses? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> stopped here in Amarillo the weather is not looking promising according to all the reports supposedly hails on its way that is one thing I don't want to deal with so we're gonna to go to Vega Texas 
Which is supposed to be like in the 70s. Yeah, it's in the 70s. And it's, <laughs> and it's, it's like 58 degrees here. 40 minutes away. Yeah. I think we're in a real low trough and just a bad area right now. So we got supplied. I'm going to go up to Flying J, which is 32 miles away. Fill up my propane. And we're lucky that we got out of uh, El Reno. We're yeah. happy that, that we got out of there. They had tornado sirens today. That touched down. Yeah. So a good thing. Didn't hurt what, anybody, though. Thank no. goodness. When somebody gives you a warning and says, get the hell out of here, you do it. <laughs> and I took the advice. <laughs>